who should buy a Himalayan? Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm here with my 2022 Royal Enfield Himalayan that I bought last year on Mother's Day weekend, unexpectedly. You can check out that video up here. It's quite a surprise. And I've spent a year now learning to ride on this motorcycle. And now that I've had it for a year, I'm ready to give my long-term review with a 411 cc motor and 25 horsepower i thought this would be a perfect bike to start with it's a light bike at 439 pounds wet weight and it seemed like a smart move for the price point another pro for this bike was that it has a really low seat height as well so super easy to flat foot of course i am 5'10 and a half so almost everything is easy for me to flat foot. The seat height is 31 and a half inches. It's a simple bike. Doesn't really have any big bells and whistles. I liked that it had ABS brakes. And at the time I bought this bike, the price point, you just couldn't beat it. I spent months before even getting my motorcycle license practicing in parking lots with this bike and it was super easy to maneuver. I had a really great time learning on it. Then I got my license and went on the road for the first time. These are not the tires that it came with. And my first ride was pretty darn miserable. And the windscreen that came with it was pretty short. So not being familiar with the way it feels to ride on a motorcycle, it freaked me out, the amount of wind that was beating on me. And the tires that it comes with are knobby tires, knobbier tires than what I have on here now. Because of course, this is a bike that's supposed to be taken off road. And when you're a new rider, all these sensations that you're not used to make you feel really not confident. And those tires were the first things that had to go. So Royal Enfield put this nifty GPS on this Himalayan. This is junk. It, it works. I mean, it'll show you turn by turn, but this tiny screen, not helpful whatsoever. Frankly, I wish they had put the money into anything else. The seat is super comfy uh, and it's, it's pretty wide, so makes for a comfortable ride. And let's talk about the brakes. Have you ever squeezed a block of wood in between your hands? It's pretty much what squeezing Himalayan brakes feels like. Uh, you'll stop, but as a new rider, I didn't really think anything of the brakes when I was first riding. And then I got a chance to ride another bike. And when I came back to this, extremely not confidence inspiring these brakes. I never thought I would be making this video. I thought I was gonna spend hours and hours and miles riding this bike and taking it off road, but I'm sad to say that I'm selling this bike. And it's, it is bittersweet. It was my first bike. I think you always have a soft spot Aww. in your heart for your first bike, which got me reflecting on who should buy a Himalayan. With the engine the size that it is, of course, doesn't have a lot of power. We don't need to watch every YouTube video there is out there of people taking it on the highway and twisting the throttle and opening it up and it not really going very fast. We know that this is like a lawnmower engine in here, all right? But if you're someone who lives in the city, you're just wanting to bebop around town and hop on the bike and go, this is the bike for you. It is fun. It's a light bike, it's nimble. It can get you where you wanna go. If you're not planning on going on big highways or cross country trips, I did take this bike off-road once. It did great. 
It was a fun bike. If I were planning on doing off-roading, this bike would be great. <laughs> you know, I didn't spend a whole lot of money on it. So if I drop the bike, no big deal. It's low center of gravity. So easy to maneuver off-road and not have to worry about it being top heavy. If you're in the market to buy a Himalayan, really take a good inventory of what you're gonna do with this motorcycle. If you're looking for this to be your everyday commuter bike and you're driving miles to work, I would not buy this bike. If you're a new rider, I probably wouldn't buy this bike either. Despite the lightness of it and the nimbleness of it, it is not confidence inspiring as a new rider. Tell me your thoughts on the Himalayan. Do you own one? Do you like it? Do you not like it? If you like this video, it would really help me out if you would subscribe, give me a like, and stay tuned for all my adventures. Take care. Bye-bye.